Right, so today the boys visit a gentleman's club and despite Ed getting permission from Liz, he goes way too far. However, before the drama of the night begins, we're back with the girls as Kalani drops a devastating revelation. A few days ago, Kalani revealed to Liz that Asuelu had been serially cheating throughout their relationship. When one instance became public knowledge, she got a hall pass to kiss someone, but ended up sleeping with them. And that someone is called Dallas. While she blocked him initially to work on her relationship with Aswelu, she caught Aswelu deleting messages in secret. So as a result, she unblocked Dallas and things escalated. So I unblocked the other guy and then he texted me to come see him and I spent the night there. I know the producers probably told her to go, but this is crazy. I mean, it's hard for me to feel bad for Aswelu given he's a cheater getting cheated on, but two wrongs don't make a right. That said, it does make for excellent drama, which the girls are clearly living for. What a drama! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck yes. Yeah. Sorry, fuck yes. I wish I would be able to judge you, but I can't. I know they're going to be backing their girl, especially given Aswelu isn't an innocent victim, but seeing the girls applauding someone for cheating behind their partner's back is disappointing. And if any of the guys had done this with the roles reversed, they would be hanging him out to dry. The only one that seems to see any kind of issue with this is Angela, and that is saying something. He's hurted you and I don't know the whole story, but how are you working on your marriage if this guy's here? I think if I tell you the whole story, you'll understand. So Kalani basically reveals to Angela and Yara what she revealed to Liz the day before, which is that Aswelu has cheated on her 12 times during the course of their relationship. She doesn't mention it at all in this episode, but she went on to accuse Aswelu of far worse in this Instagram story, which you're free to read by pausing the video now. I'm guessing this will come up in an episode soon, so we'll discuss it when we have more details. But if it's true, getting cheated on should be the least of Aswelu's concerns. For now though, the girls are already disgusted just hearing about his unfair faithfulness. I, I would have done him. cut his penis I, off. My oh, gosh, that is disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. An understandable reaction, even if Kalani has just been unfaithful herself. Anyway, at the end of the season, there's a recommitment ceremony, which essentially sounds like an event where all of the couples recommit to each other and their newly rekindled relationships. But it sounds like Kalani isn't even sure if she's going to go. Are you going to the recommitment ceremony? Yeah. I don't fucking know. Does that scare I, you? Oh, yeah. To tell him, like, oh, yeah, we've been together almost seven years and I don't want to be with you anymore. Oh, God. Aswelu has seemingly been putting in some effort to try and work on the marriage since arriving, but now it just seems like too little too late, and deleting messages was just the final nail in the coffin for him. I mean, although she's only told the girls that she stayed the night, she goes on to confirm that she did in fact sleep with Dallas. Having slept with Dallas kind of opened my eyes to a different world. There's effort there that there's never been with Oswelu. This is taking its toll on her emotionally and understandably so. She is stuck with him through seven years of what sounds like hell to keep her family unit together. She's obviously aware that leaving Aswelu could have a huge impact on the well-being of her kids, but it sounds like she just can't put up with this any longer. I just feel like I'm... I'm just going to lose something no matter what I pick. <sighs> Obviously, it's a tough decision, but I wonder if she has some regrets about sleeping with Dallas. It sounds like she wants to be with him over a swelly right now, but she's still clearly unsure about what the right decision is. So I wonder if she regrets spending the night with him, knowing that it could essentially end things with a swelly before she's ready. Come here, come here, come here. This is not what I want. <laughs> I didn't want this. <laughs> Well, even though Aswelu doesn't know exactly what happened yet, the fact that Kalani stayed out last night is really getting to him. This morning, he texted her asking her where she was, and she said that she didn't know. And to make matters worse, she wouldn't answer his FaceTime calls. So given everyone has yet another day off therapy, the boys have decided to take Aswelu's mind off things and take him to Key West. This is an island city about an hour away from their resort in Isla Bella, and it's also conveniently where the stripper that Jovi has been texting is working. Yes, Wendy. Oh, baby. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we're all single. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he might be soon. 
Ed is such a little divvy. Even when things are going well between him and Liz, he just can't help himself, can he? It gets a lot worse later on as they get more drinks down them, but Ed's immaturity comes out pretty much as soon as he's alone with the boys. And here, he continues flirting with the lady behind the bar. Are you tired? Me? No. Do I look tired? Yeah, because you're running through my mind. <laughs> How the hell has this little ball of cringe got a fiance? I mean, this is the kind of line I'd use on girls when I was 13 at the year seven disco. He says he's wearing this little green hat, so if he's expected to be serious, he's already in trouble. As if flirting with another woman whilst you're in a relationship is a joke in the same way wearing a silly hat is. And then when talking about Liz, he says this. When I'm performing, she hates it. But I know that. That's why I do it. There's something that really annoys me about Ed constantly proclaiming that he's an entertainer and a funny man, even more so when he claims to be performing to avoid accountability like he is here. But that just isn't an excuse Liz is going to accept for him flirting with other women. Anyway, once they all settle down and have a few drinks, Ed reveals to Jovi and Aswelu that he told Liz about the boy's secret plan to go to a strip club. And Jovi is gutted. I knew that Ed couldn't keep a secret, and he continues to be himself. You know, I try to be a nice guy to Ed, uh, try to include him in what we're doing, and he just turns around and stabs me in the back. Still, Jovi doesn't want Ed's betrayal to ruin the night. He says that Swelu deserves to have a fun night out, and that he still hopes that he can give it to him. So, he hatches a plan. He tells Ed that Liz will be out drinking, having a good time with the girls, so if he calls her up and asks politely, she'll give him permission to go to the strip club. Will you give Ed permission to come to the strip club with us tonight? And don't tell. And don't tell the girls. <gasps> Jovi is also a little divvy. How is he still letting his addiction to strippers get in the way of his relationship with Yara? He knows that if he asked Yara for permission like Ed is doing with Liz, that she would say no. But all he's doing is delaying the inevitable because she just is going to find out, isn't she? You called me and you're not leaving me in the dark. I'm not gonna hold anything against you. Yeah! <laughs> okay, right. baby, I won't touch anything, I promise. Oh, careful Ed, don't make promises you can't keep. Also, I feel like Liz flexing her partner behaving well on the phone like that was rubbing salt into Yara's wounds a little bit. And to make it worse, not only is there a difference in honesty there, but the fact that it's Big Ed behaving better in his relationship than your partner is must be devastating. I'm proud of Ed for doing that. He call you and ask you and tell you what you're gonna do while Joey was trying to play a game of forever. It just sucks. She does not deserve that at all. And also, I don't know, I feel like the only reason that Ed called for permission was because Jovi convinced him to. I'm pretty sure that if Jovi had pressured him to sneak off and not tell Liz, he would have done it. Well, either way, with Liz's permission, they head off to a place called Red Garter Saloon. And Ed is as excited as anyone. Strip club. It's a saloon. It's a saloon. Now I can't really risk this video getting deleted by showing what happens inside, but as soon as Aswelu walks in, his mind is blown. I don't really know how much I believe him, but he says that he's only ever seen clubs like this and girls dancing like this in movies or heard about it from Jovi's mouth. But now see them in my real eyes, this is very, very wild. First time looking those things? Wow. I want to touch it. Unfortunately, not all of the night was sexy because inevitably Big Ed asks if he can go on stage. It's funny because when the boys first invited Ed, Kelly said that the one thing he didn't want to see was Ed where the strippers should be, especially naked. Thankfully, Kelly's not there to witness it, but unfortunately, Jovi and Aswelu are. Come here, baby. No fucking shot. <laughs> I did it. Out of breath in five seconds, Liz was right, the poor girl. At least it didn't go on long enough for him to take his clothes off, even if he does have the biggest boobs in the room. Now the next bit I definitely can't show on YouTube, but essentially, despite Ed's promises not to touch, he grabs a stripper's butt with both hands, and then a few moments later, another stripper comes over and squeezes his head between her breasts. Ed getting motorboated was actually pretty funny, and then he's... He was not supposed to touch, but he grabbed the stripper's ass before that. You're awesome. Oh, my God. 
This is just going way too far. Can you imagine the biblical rage Ed would unleash if Liz was doing anything even close to this with another guy? He even let out a moan whilst getting motorboated and declared his love for the stripper doing it. It just is undeniably unfaithful behaviour. Liz did not give him permission for any of this. Jovi jokingly mentions to Ed that he told Liz that he would look and not touch, but Ed says that he doesn't remember and tells Jovi to not be a squealer. It's not even surprising anymore. This is exactly how he reacts to Liz when she calls him out for his behaviour. Anyway, to continue the escalation, the boys then arrange for three strippers to dance on Asuelu on stage, and he absolutely loses his mind. Beautiful ladies on top of me, damn, I feel like I'm in heaven, but I'm a Christian, so I feel like this is hell. <laughs> I swear, he was so ready to cheat for the 13th time. Thankfully, Jovi clocked that he was getting carried away, so he decides to call it a night. He pulls a swallow off the stage, walks him to the exit, and Big Ed waddles off after them. In the taxi ride back home, it's clear how much Ed and Jovi have had to drink, and Jovi starts second-guessing himself. I am a little worried about the repercussions of girls finding out, but whatever happens at the strip club, nobody needs to know about it. I mean, not only has Ed already told all of the girls on speakerphone that you were going, but also it literally all got caught on camera. Everyone was going to find out anyway. They end up getting back so late and so drunk though that they just end up passing out in bed. So it's not until the morning after that Yara confronts Jovi about it. What you start your fucking obsession with stripper? Like, I don't understand what you're going to give it to that you every fucking time want to go there. We were just trying to have a good time. I swear it's never been, okay? That is such a cop-out. There are plenty of other ways to have fun and keep Aswellu's mind off Kalani that don't involve disrespecting your partner. Also, again, if the producers were acting in their best interests, they'd be instructing therapists to help Jovi with his addiction to strip clubs, not fueling it by encouraging him to go more. I was gonna say it's like taking an alcoholic to a bottomless bar, but that's pretty much what they do with Big Ed and Liz in every season. You wanna know who's the only guy who didn't touch a stripper in that whole place? Do you guys decide to not touch the stripper? Yeah. If you would have seen Asuelo and Ed and what they were doing in the strip club, you understand, like, I'm a fucking angel. Damn, he has dropped Ed in that massively. He is bold to play this strategy, though. I don't like Ed, but at least he told Liz he was going. And also, Ed and Asuelo weren't the ones texting a stripper behind their partner's backs. Don't get me wrong, Ed and Asuelo did wrong too, but if Jovi's gonna try and expose them, he better be prepared for retaliation. I don't know what I can do fucking better for you not go over there. If she's this sad now, imagine how she's gonna feel when she finds out Jovi was messaging that girl. She wasn't actually working last night in the end, which Jovi was concerningly upset about, but that doesn't mean he's gonna get away with it. In fact, in the look ahead to next week, it looks like Ed tells Yara all about it. And on top of that, it looks like Kalani tells Aswelu what happened with Dallas, and Ed and Liz go back to their fighting, yelling, and crying. Assumedly because Liz finds out about Big Ed's strip club antics. We ended up doing other things. I will punch you in the fucking face. Go for it, bring it on. There you go. Therapy's working, babe. The drama in this season just keeps on snowballing and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. So if you want to make sure you don't miss Jovi swinging for Ed on a boat and all the explosive action that follows, make sure you're subscribed down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.